Hey guys, what's going on? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today we are here at the 10 Man Open Iron City Classic. All right, guys, as I just said, I'm here at the 2018 Iron City Classic. It is a 10 man open tournament. Anyone from D4 to pro players play this event. So, guys, a quick walkthrough of the field. You're going to see Marcus standing at the dead box. The other dead box is way down yonder. We're going to take a quick walk towards the snake side of the field and see what, uh, what we got going on. For, for all of our new reviewers, which is a lot of you, this is an old school hyperball field. This is what tournament paintball pretty much grew up on. They're not inflatable, they don't bounce, but they're loud. The corrugated tubing, imagine a lot of paintballs hitting this bunker at a time, it's super loud. This is all that corrugated tubing. We're taking a walk down Snake Side. Mark asked me earlier, we did a live feed on uh, YouTube. He said, what bunkers are important? To me, when I first walked the field, literally 15 seconds on it, I was looking at this bunker here on the Snake Side because as you can see, if Mark gets in the right camera angle, you can stop. If they're coming around your 50 snake trying to get on your side of the field, this guy is going to be crucial to stopping this guy from advancing down the field on the snake side. So as you see, guys, you're like, what is, what is going on here? This is a crazy looking field. Up at the 50, not too many things are symmetrical at the 50, but other than that, all the other bunkers are lined up on the field. There's this same bunker here at the 40 yard line as it is at that 40 yard line. A lot of these bunkers are symmetrical, but things get a little crazy up in the center of this field, guys. So we are walking down the far snake side. Mark, look up at the center. Like, have you ever? That is the craziest wall I've ever Isn't seen. that pretty interesting? You've got this tubing. I mean, you've got this extra stuff here on the right side, our right side of the 50. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty weird. Almost looks like a gerbil or like a <laughs> like a like a rat trap or something like that. It's pretty crazy, guys. So once again, we are here at the 2018 Iron City Classic, the 10 man tournament. Mark's doing a quick walkthrough of all the snake stuff right now, headed towards the other side of the field. We've got 55 10 man teams here, 55 10 man teams. So that means, let's say everyone just brought 10. That's 550 people alone, let alone spectators, let alone extra players, let alone vendors. There's gonna be a thousand people at this event. It's starting uh, on Saturday and finals are on Sunday, guys. So uh, this Which is it. It'll be over by the time you see Yeah, this. by the time you see this video, you're just gonna kinda recap, relive the memories with us because Mark's gonna be on field filming some uh, really good games, some pro player games. I mean, you've got teams like X Factor, infamous ac dallas you've got a ton of people in this event old school avalanche image far side literally the names go on and on and on and on so and this is be talking to players seeing what's in their gear yes bag, yes we are in, yes we're we are talk to vendors and see what they're selling what they have in mark stock. can you get up underneath there you think can you get like can you crawl up under <laughs> okay he's up underneath there close enough all right i don't know i don't know if you're allowed to do that in a game but uh it is. This is like definitely What's it an look interesting. Like on the other side? I don't know. You could get up in there if you're real sneaky. I don't know if that's against the rules or not. I didn't read. But uh, guys, this is the hyperball field. There's three fields: hyperball, the mounds, and then we have a, a traditional woods ball field. And this is it, guys. You're gonna see 55 10 man teams battle across this. So let's head over to the mounds. Yeah, let's head over to the mounds. I will see you guys at the mounds field. The Mounds Field. Here we go. All right, guys. Now I'm here at the Mounds Field. Mark's going to take a walk up the field, uh, just a couple seconds here, and get an overall view of everything. We've got teams strategizing what they're going to do, how they're going to play this field. First thing I want to say though, before Mark takes a walk up these mounds, this is not your uh, yeah, standard you paintball field by any means. This is what it grew up with. There's 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 tree stumps. There's rocks. There's everything. It's not a turf field, it's not a grass field. So, without further ado, let Mark walk up the hill and give you a view of the Mounds Field at Iron City Classic. I think I can see you the whole way. Why would that guy the red right there, right? Yeah, I can see him clear as day. It doesn't even matter. Right? 
And look, I'm only halfway up, Fritz. That's it. Two steps. It is. All right, so Mark kind of got up on top of the first hill, kind of give you a little uh, show of what the Mounds Field at Iron City Classic is looking like. No so guys, we're heading to the right okay, side of the field. And once again, you got mounds for days. This field is a very, very strategic field because people can come up and come over. It's not your traditional speedball field, like I said earlier, by any means. I mean, you're talking, there's rocks, tree roots, everything all over the place. I mean, this is an old school paintball field. Better bring your knee pads. Coming up the right side of the field. And your all tie uh, boots. Top of the mountain. You got a good vision over here. Looks like, I mean, getting up into the center of the field is going to be extremely important. This right side of the field here where they kind of got, you can see now, you can see kind of like, it's like almost like a 50 snake. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to put that in the terms of mounds, but uh, yeah, if you get up on this right side, there's going to be some good shots cross field. So, it's an old school mounds here, literally dirt, trees, rocks, mud dug up from the ground, placed in two bunkers. So this is the mounds field, Iron City Classic, baby. Uh, old school paintball. So what's left? What do you want to do? Where else can we go? We can go to the woods ball field. I think we should. I'll see you there. All right, guys, and finally, we are here on the woods ball field, the Iron City Classic 10-man open tournament. And we are at one of the start gates. Right here, you see all these uh, pretty green flags that are flying. So this is a very, very cool and interesting field. As you can see, I'm talking like I said, this is a woods ball field. It is a woods ball field. You can take a look here. We're starting on the lopsided uh, downside of the hill. Uh, in my personal opinion, and from talking to a couple of other pro guys that have played this field, you want to go that way. You want to get up there and be shooting downwards on these guys trying to come here on the left-hand side. So let's take a walk to the upside of the field and kind of see what they got going on. So the first thing I noticed is that they've got finely groomed paths coming through the woods. They've been mowed. Everything's very nice. They've got a lot of wood stacked up in these bunkers here, guys. Tons and tons of wood. Hey, Tony. Yes. You seem to be able to uh, walk these fields pretty effortlessly. What, what are you wearing? What kind of shoes you got on? Oh, nothing but the uh, the best, the Altai waterproof boots uh, with great uh, Vibram soles on the bottom. So where can they get those? <laughs> Shameless plug. I see what you're doing there. Lomopaintball.com. Check out the online store. We've got all the boots and the sizes. Perfect so, for woods ball and. Uh, look at that. It's sounds like something out of a movie almost. Yep. Like, you know I've saying? seen that in Blair Witch Project. Yeah, it could have been there. <laughs> so we're taking a further walk to the uh, upside of the hill. If you hear Mark uh, <sighs> heavy breathing, you'll know why. So, guys, we get up here. And this is what I've been told from a lot of the guys that have played this field. You really want to worry about this upper portion of the field shooting downwards from where we just were. So we'll just take a walk straight this way. <laughs> like that, Mark? Amen. Yeah. I'm wishing I didn't have next. So as they're walking through, like I said, Mark can take a quick pan. This is a true like woods ball field. All these bunkers are you know, two by fours holding in, are actually true wood stacked up behind other trees. <laughs> that is. It's not on the market yet. It's not on the market yet. So this upper side of the field, guys, is, is super crucial. You can get a lot of downward shots on that, uh, the far side as well, so. And then there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, through the woods, through the weeds. It is Mr. John, I won't say his last name. There he is, Mr. GS Sports himself. You can almost see him. He's like Bigfoot, the elusive Bigfoot. The elusive Bigfoot in the woods. Alright guys, so this is the other starting station for this the woods field at the Iron City Classic. And uh, once again, Mark, get like a good a good video of like this bunker, like true old school. A lot of these tournament guys these days like, are these guys really playing this field? Yes. Yes. There's a ton of current pros, old pro players that are gonna be playing this event tomorrow and Sunday. And this is the other start station. Hey, look, a media tower. We had one of those. 
I don't think that one was quite to the scale that we had ours, but guys, so you can take a look. There's literally going to be 700 people here throughout the day walking these fields. Like I said, ton of pro guys. Anybody from D4 to Opener Pro was playing this event. 55 10 man teams. This is the last walkthrough. Gone through the mounds. Gone through the uh, Hyper Ball. No, so what's, what's special about the Iron City Classic for those that don't know? You win cash and you get to play against pros. Everything's an open division, so everyone's on the same level. So totally noobs are playing against pro players? Yeah, anything. Anything goes. And it's only mechanical guns? No mechanical one. guns, or if you have an electronic gun, I believe you have to cap it at 5.5 balls per second. Very nice. So guys, this is the last walkthrough of the last Woods Ball field. Uh, we went through Hyperball, we went through Mounds, and we are at the Woods Ball field here now. And uh, this is it, guys. There's going to be some excellent competition here at the Iron City Classic 10-man open here in Pennsylvania. So until next time, guys, I will see you then. Uh, what should they eat while they're watching the videos? Of oh, yeah, we're actually here selling jerky, too. Go to thejerkyden.com. Got some of the best beef jerky in the game. Take it easy, guys. We're out of here. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, listen to Mark. He'll tell you.